I was 18 when I got married. But it was not love. Good to see you. Good to see you. What a movie. It's extraordinary, isn't it's it? It's extraordinary. Yeah. And I, I love that Anna Karenina is originally described as the perfect wife. Is she? And then, dun, <laughs> yeah. dun, dun. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't work out that way. Doesn't work out that way. No. I wonder if it ever does. Romantic love will be the last illusion of the old order. Have you known Count Vronsky long? He's a rich, good-looking cavalry officer. Do you think because of your relationship with Joe and your past projects together, it was made easier? Yeah, I mean, it's all absolutely. I mean, if, if you have, I'm so lucky to have the kind of working relationship and personal relationship I have with, with Joe Wright and his whole team, you know, who are just um, a phenomenal group of creatives. Um, and definitely in undertaking a character that's so complex and strange um, and fascinating and telling the story in this extraordinary way, um, it really helps to have, you know, a really great working relationship with the people that, that you're doing it with. Kira and I are kind of um, a bit like siblings now, really. We kind of have a uh, quite a close understanding. She must really trust you because she dove yeah. into yeah. this. Yeah, she does, and I trust her as well, you know. Sometimes we argue. Who's right? Obviously, Kira. You are fearless in this role. In this role. I was going to say, not in life, thanks. <laughs> no, you are fearless in this. Thank you. I think, you know, there's a certain point where you sort of go, if you're going to play Anna Karenina, you might as well go for it. Dance with me. I must warn you about something. Warn me? You may, by indiscretion, give the world occasion to talk about you. I was so moved by the dance sequences because everything is in the details mm. and it's so beautifully choreographed. Mm. Tell me about Thank shooting you. those. Uh, well, they were um, a big challenge and, uh, and I wanted to create a really exciting ballroom scene, you know. Um, the whole film is a kind of ballet with words, really, and uh, so that was what I was, what I was aiming for. Was all this in your brain? Yeah, kind of. It was quite a busy brain for a few years there. Um, yeah, no, I, I, we kind of dreamed it up. This must stop. If you have any thought for me, you will give me back my peace. There can be no peace for us. The question of who is the hero, who is the villain, you know, is is always up for debate. And it's kind of like, you, you see that, I think, in, in this version of it, and you see that when you read the book, you kind of go, Am I, do I hate her? Do I love her? I, I'm not quite sure, you know, at certain no, points you the feel audience things. falls in love with her. Yeah. Because it, you do go through the whole... The whole bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to talk about the dresses. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> that they're black really great. dress, mm. that diamond necklace. Yeah, that diamond necklace. If only I'd got to take that home. <laughs> Do they weigh a ton? Yeah, they were quite heavy, actually. And you know what? I was dancing in it, so it kept jumping up and down. And so I had bruises from a diamond necklace. That's not a problem most people have, is it? No, but I would want no. that problem. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, would, I was quite happy with the problem. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't an awful thing. It was wonderful to see you again. Thank Much you. success Thank with you. the movie. Thank you so much. I love you. Why? I can't ask why about love.